hey guys how are you so i am back with another video and in this video i am going to show you how to install and i am also going to give you a review on the aosp extended rom version 8.1.0 yes it runs on oreo the latest android version so without wasting any time let's get started so the first thing i will show you is it is running on 8.1.0 so let's head to settings system and yes i am using redmi note 4 and you can see the android version 8.1.0 yes it is audio and you can download this rom for there are many available devices i will provide the link into the description below so if your device is eligible for the download so kindly download and install this rom and i will show how to install this rom at the end of this video so now let's get to the customization part the customization that this rom provides all right so moving on to the extensions there is status bar notification panel navigation recent lock screen system uh, it does not provide as much customization as other uh, ROM would provide but it provides decent amount of customization as a normal user would require so the status bar items the items that would show in the status bar traffic indicator yes this is the most important thing for me I guess and for some other users also so the next customization is misc extension so there you get 4g icon double tap to sleep and brightness control so the brightness control works fine you can see so another thing you would see is notification panel so it gives quite simple uh, i guess customizations you can have a brightness slider brightness icon show tiles quick pull down and and the quick tile layout i think you would wander the setting on your own so now let's head to notifications nothing to see here navigation bar you can enable or disable navigation bar if you like using it You can increase or decrease the height of the navigation bar okay so i will keep navigation bar now let's get to recent recent ui it gives you the option to show mem memory bar so as you can see there is memory bar free ram 603 mbs because there are a lot of applications open in the background you can see so this it also gives a slim recent this is an alternative recent panel as you can see it is quite clean neat recent panel if you like this you can use this uh, but i guess i'm going to keep default so now let's add to lock screen and it does not provide any out of the box customization these are all simple settings double take to double tap to sleep and all so now and in system it gives general tweaks vibrate on call connect vibrate on call waiting vibrate on disconnect etc and buttons yes you can assign different actions to the buttons like single tap long press and double tap uh, so this were the customization that this rom provide i guess the, it is not many but it is quite what a user might require so now let's also check the notification toggles all right so we get many many i think many notification toggle yes you can see i have added also you get the screen recorder you get picture in picture mode and yes it works fine i will show that also uh, hotspot invert color data saver caffeine and all sorts of 
toggles yes so these were the toggles so now let me show you the picture in picture mode yes it works just fine let's open YouTube it's loading man it's taking too much time I don't know why yes so it's open so let's open a video sare gama karwa digital audio player is tohfe mein hai 5000 sunere ka uh, let's set to picture in picture mode and verify kare fir samne se dekh aaj ki baat aage it works it works just fine aapka kuch so now let's see another so the now other thing that is most important is battery life for some users i don't think battery would be a problem if you are a redmi note 4 user as it already have 4000 milliamp hour of battery but let me show you the battery stats so i charged this phone till 51% i guess that was 1 hour and 10 minutes ago and after using for 55 minutes screen on time i have lost about 5 to 6% of battery so that's i would say you might get 9 to 10 hours of screen on time between 9 to 10 hours average if you are a heavy user then you might get 6 to 7 hours like if you like playing games and all sort but if you are a normal user like me then you would get 9 to 10 hours of screen on time on this rom yes you can use this as your daily driver it is a fantastic rom so now let's head to performance part also it it has a quite nice ram management so let's see you can see all these app that i have kept open in the background so now we will check okay you can see it's still there in the background it does not reopens the app see now let's also play a uh, temple run all right so play so it does not lag or hangs as you can see and the sensors also work just fine you can see. all right i am not very good at this game so let's just get on with it as you can see the performance is also quite good the battery life is fantastic i don't know if the stock mi ui offers this much screen on time it gives you 6 to 7 hours of screen on time but this rom provides you almost 9 to 10 hours of screen on time so i guess this is the rom osp extended is my daily driver so i hope you like this video and if you have any queries then please ask me in the comment section and please guys like this video share and subscribe to my channel and we hope to get around 15 likes on this video so let's see and this is max signing off